Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kevin Naki here for the IGN Pro League and welcome to another episode of the IPL Top 5 Plays. Now this week our replays come to us from the IPL Team Arena Challenge, the GSL Blizzard Cup, and the community. So let's go ahead and get started with number 5. From Team Arena Challenge, Liquid vs. Rain, we have Liquid Jinro vs. Rain Ardis, and Jinro getting in with the cloaked Banshee, but a bunch of Marines coming back, and there's the stim and the scan. Oh, and the Banshee just gets away, and immediately Ardis sends up a Marine on an intercept course to take out that hurt Banshee. Beautiful decision making, and Ardis would take the game. Yep. Six, and the storms that. Oh! oh. <laughs> That was brutal. That the army supply is even, 125 to 125, and that might work in Naniwa's favor. He needs a big win right now. Brood Lords, but it's not supposed to be. He's huge storm on a lot awesome. of melees. Beautiful force field. He Naniwa. takes out everything on the ground. Where's the Almost blink? Almost no damage to his stock. Blink There's the blink. He takes out all of the Brood Lords, and Naniwa takes a huge. Huge, huge battle in his favor. Oh, yeah. he's, he's retreating right oh, now. No, no, no. Oh, bases. nice. Storm and force field. Beautiful. This Lino. is not looking good for Naniwa now. Linok is still behind in terms of army supply. He has 74 workers. Oh, Naniwa only 32. The, the mothership is down. down. But still, Naniwa has a chance to win that after. Look at those storms killing the Mutalist. Naniwa is on the move. Naniwa was ahead for a long time, <laughs> and now he'll realize that Ninok is still mining. That's G -G. the GG. And at number three, we have Quantic Gaming Sase obliterating the A-teamers from Team Liquid. First up would be Jinro in a PVT, and Jinro would not stand a chance. Next would come Chef, and the Blink Stalker control from Quantic Gaming Sase was too much, and Chef was forced to GG. Then we had a PvP on Zelnaga Fortress against Tyler. Tyler actually ended up with a huge supply advantage, twice the supply of his opponent, but it didn't matter as Sase with great control would come right back. Then we had Liquid Red, and that then turned into a very big macro game, but still Sase just overpowered his opponent. Finally, the ace for Liquid would come in. Hero, a PvP on Taldor and Malter. He opened up with three gate Blink Stalker, but the four gate for Sase was just too much to hold, and Sase completed the 5-0 of Team Liquid. All right, here come the Zerglings. They're going to swing their way in right now. The drop is over at the left-hand side, but we'll check that in just a second as these Zerglings are actually killing so many Siege Tanks. This did a lot better than I actually anticipated. And there is the offensive nuke at the fourth. The red dot is there. It's visible. No, this nuke is going to oh land. Oh, my God. Oh, ho. oh my God. <laughs> There's three nukes about to land. It looks like he wants to bait some units out. I don't even know if he has units to bait. That base goes down. If he can kill the bases on the left side here while nuking oh. defensively, and Moro showcasing some very high level TVZ right now. Moro is down to his last legs. A couple of orbital commands here. The units are going to run free inside of his base, and that is going to be all she wrote. And here at number one, we have the mad scientist Protoss Rain Kiwi Kaki showing off some incredible, unusual, and creative multitasking play. And look at the way he defends this big attack coming in from Gosu Vibe. Vibe rolling it with a lot of Banelings and Roaches, but with great positioning and bringing back that Warp Prism with its very fast Warp Prism speed. Kiwi Kaki was able to get an engagement at the perfect choke point and divert that army away. But Kiwikaki was not done yet. Here he's sieging up the gold with all of those Colossi and Blink Stalkers, but at the same time he's running in with that Colossus back at the third where he will do a lot of economic damage. However, Ghost Vibe would push back that army in the middle of the map. Kiwikaki frantically trying to blink away and run back home. A couple of Colossi go down, but he does manage to stabilize. All the while that Colossus back at the third is wrecking Vibe's economy. However, Kiwikaki would not be done even then as he drops once again into the main. This time a bunch of zealots and he's bringing over that Colossus as well. Ghost Vibe is going to try to rally some units in, but it's not going to be enough. The zealots in that Colossus would be too much. And Kiwikaki wins the game. And congrats to the mad scientist Protoss Kiwikaki for taking number one in our top five. For more episodes of the IPL Top 5 Plays, head over to IGN.com slash IPL. This is Kevin Naki for the IGN Pro League signing out.